Hello everyone, I am the Moy Chicken and welcome back to more Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last episode we uh, made our way through the uh, Marble Gallery, or the Black Marble Gallery, or whatever it's called. And we are going to continue on our way somewhere today. I, I have to decide at this point. So if I go up, I can wind my way through the what would normally be the lower sections of the Marble Gallery towards the uh, Cursed Prison. Or I could go to the right and go to the Alchemy Lab. Um, so I'm actually going to go up, and I'll, I'll tell you why. I have never actually seen the, uh, well, okay, no, let me, let me amend that. I cannot recall what the, uh, the reverse Cursed Prison is like. I have been there before because I have beaten this game as Elucard, and so I have at least seen it, but I really don't remember it at all. So we are about to go and see one of the other Sega Saturn specific situations. Because, you know, it still kind of bothers me a little bit that when they remade this game for the PSP, and they did add new things into the PSP version, like for example, Maria, um, they didn't add back in those areas. Like, I, I, I can't claim to know anything about video game development, but it seems like it wouldn't have been that hard to just use a different map, right? I don't know, like, and I don't think that capacity would be the issue, like, like, memory issue, memory problems. Although I guess if it was a PSP, that's not the most sophisticated piece of technology. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it to me, but I've also heard that, um, uh, uh, Igarashi strongly did not like this game. Like, he really did not think much of the, uh, the Sega Saturn iteration. So much so that he just sort of like regards it as like a wrong version, I guess, for lack of a better term. So maybe he just didn't want to want, maybe he just wanted to like cut all ties with this variant and didn't want to bother with any of the, uh, any of the other stuff. I don't know. See, it seems strange to me that they would leave, leave that out when they added in other things. Like, because I mean, if they added in Maria as a playable character, then that suggests that they are willing to at least be cognizant of this version, but then, I don't know, whatever. I, I was a little bitter about it, but I think they did, in fact, add back the the uh, fancy rainbow cloak in uh, in the, the PSP version, which is really all I need. If I talked about that, I probably have, but I'll talk about it again, because I love it. Uh, in this game, as Alucard, there is a special cape that just changes colors the entire time you're playing. <laughs> That's all it does, and I love it because I like I like how rainbowy he gets. He's like all kinds of different colors, and it's fun. And I really wish it was in the PlayStation version, but it, it's not. Uh, but I think it is actually in the PSP version. All right, so here is the reverse cursed prison, whatever that would be called. Uh, so what will we find in here? I find unique. Oh, hello, how are you? Oh, you got big head. Let go. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> Why'd you, why'd you grab me, bro? What? Bad touch! Bad touch! Stop it! Stop it! What is it doing? It's so weird! It's just like a handy monster! Go away! Oh my gosh! I was not expecting that at all! <laughs> he just grabbed my head! Was he doing damage to me? Oh. Oh, hi there. Hello! Uh. Oh! Your sword is bigger than I thought it was. It's just, just walking along. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yay! Is he dead? Nope. Ah, uh, this guy's kind of funny. Ah, uh, oh my gosh. Ah, uh, oh, I'm dead now. Uh, oh, okay. It's like a um, I'm actually fighting the thing possessing it. That's that's a pretty neat idea. Cause like when I, so there there was the thing I was fighting and then it just the body just is left behind. That's a pretty neat monster to. Uh, I wonder if this monster actually has an. I mean I'm sure it has a name, but I, if it has an English translation of its name. Uh, Ed, if you would um, see if you can find anything out about this guy. Again, if it's too hard, buddy, don't worry about it. But. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if Ed can find a name for these things, cause they're funny. I kind of like them. I'm gonna kick him. 
kick, 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 kick. He's got like crazy hair. I kind of like his weird hair. Oh no, my spirit or whatever. But I, 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 th I think the award for the strangest experience so far goes to that um, grabby hands dude. Uh, hello. Yep. You see how how infrequently the stupid clock even works? Look at this. It's another enemy where it's just sort of like, oh, they don't care. They've seen worse. They've seen clocks before. It's not a big deal. Urgh. I just love watching these guys like fly back. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna kick you in the corner. Just keep kicking you. My mighty Maria legs. Behold my mighty Maria legs. So I found myself wondering if there's like special equipment in here as uh, Alucard. Because I, I think I mentioned it when we came through the first time. There is spe oh jeez. There is special equipment in here, uh, at least in the regular castle for Alucard. It's like a um I think it's called like the Astral Dagger or something like that. And it's it's just it's a dagger. <laughs> it's a weapon. It doesn't really do anything special. But it's cool. I don't know, it's neat. I imagine there's probably something like that in, in here for uh for him as well, but I am Maria, I'm not allowed to have weapons, only magic. So there you go. Die, 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 come on, come on, there you go, there's your soul, bye soul, oh you, <laughs> why are you here, you too, hate those stupid things, ugh, freaking jack skeletons, die, you too, also die, um, oh, and it's a nova skeleton, now these guys are kind of cool in, um, they drop a weapon that I always liked the name of. Um, it's called the Terminus F. Ooh, flying zombies! These guys are awesome! These guys are so- Oh, hello. How are you? I'm talking about flying zombies. Go away. Get out of here. I'm talking about flying zombies. These guys are awesome! They're so cool! So, these guys only show up in the regular game in, um, uh, Ulrox's chambers. And I think actually only in the reverse castle? Um, and there are actually two segments, so if you kill the top part, or if you kick them once, they start to fly around! <laughs> and they're actually a lot harder to kill if they're flying around, so you don't really want them to. Plus, their they're, they're bodies left behind and it's got, like, gushy uh, intestines. Look at that, it's, it's all nasty. <laughs> kick, kick. If you, um, I think if you destroy their... No, no, if you, okay, so if you kick their lower half, their top half flies off. Um, I think if you kill the top half, both both halves fall off. So it's honestly the better way to do it. But it's also fun to just kind of watch them fly. I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, see. Oh, okay, now it's still walking around. I don't think the lower one, lower lower part can do anything except hurt you, which is actually kind of questionable too. Like, how's it hurting you? Kicking you? What's it do? Oh yeah, there we go. So it's just yeah, it's just the lower part. Uh, I think it's sort of funny that the- I guess it gets stronger when it's flying? Because, uh, it only took like one shot when it's, uh, attached, but then it took like, several when it's unattached? I don't know. I just think they're a neat enemy type. I think they're cool. Hello, sir, how are you? Prepare for beam. <laughs> Prepare for beam! Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, we're good. I didn't mean to do that! I didn't mean to do that. What is this? Oh, that, I thought that was something special. Oh, that's the pedestal for those gargoyles. Um, hello. Hello, save point. Sure, why not? Go ahead and save. Is there a save point here in the regular castle? And I assume there was. I don't remember, though. <laughs> um, and I think we're gonna come out right up by the... Eh, I'm just gonna run past these guys. Let, let go of me, you stupid thing. There. So we are done in the, uh... And that was the that was the reverse cursed prison. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, it was it was a bonus area in both situations, so it's cool to check out. But eh, there you go. Um, and so now we are in this area. We're in the underground caverns. Oh no, I'm gonna go to the underground caverns. Um. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll go ahead and do it now. Um. One of the things about the reverse castle is that, like, since you've gone through the entire castle in the regular version, you know where everything is. Like, you know 
everywhere you're gonna go and you know the, the connections for all the things because they're all the same um and so but kick 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 shoot shoot kick kick <laughs> that was actually kind of funny um get out of here uh, get oops oh well it worked out in my favor no okay there we go um yeah you're you know everywhere you're gonna go and so like it's just a matter of figuring out what is the optimal way to go through the areas you've already been to and it's just i don't know a little less fun like i think back to um uh harmony of dissonance which i believe came out shortly after this one like i think uh i think about harmony of or i think about symphony of the night I'll just get my health refilled. No, don't worry about it. Um, I think it went Simming of the Night, and then uh, Circle of the Moon, and then uh, Harmony of Dissonance. And you can tell f that Harmony of Dissonance borrows a an awful lot from this game, in that the main character is like like a you know white-haired pretty boy with long, long beautiful hair and so forth and so on, even though he's a Belmont. Who have never had white hair so go figure um i, just, I was just here uh and uh but in particular the the, the <laughs> i only gave one example of what i was talking about there there are a bunch of different ways that it feels similar especially stylistically but um the oh wait this is a boss i think hang on is this a boss i think this is doppelganger yeah this is doppelganger hello hello Yo, bro, you want to check this out? Oh, no, hang on. I okay, gotta, gotta do it. Check it out. It's... That's not what I meant to do. Here we go. Have fun with Biako. He's your friend! Oh, we're just gonna do this? We're just gonna do this? <laughs> I have not gotten the pattern yet, sorry. So, this guy is... I think he's called, like, Doppelganger 40 or something like that. The idea is that he is a doppelganger of, um... of Alucard at a particular level, I believe, is, the, is what the, the idea is supposed to be. Um, and so, the original one... Because the original one was called Doppelganger 10, I believe... Um, and this one, I think, is called Doppelganger 40. And it's it's pretty much the same idea. It's Alucard, and you fight him like you would Alucard. And as Alucard, it's almost trivial at this point in the game. I'm having a little bit of trouble because I'm mostly trying to kick him for reasons unknown. Um, but... Ow. Don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. Don't be a jerk. Come on. Let me kick you. It's a good time. Um, there we go. Kicked him in the head till he exploded, exploded in blood. That is how Maria rolls. Yes. So, back to <laughs> that interlude over with. Back to Harmony of Dissonance. So, one of the things that Harmony of Dissonance improved upon in this game, kind of, is that they made what would be the reverse castle more interesting in that... But, but, did y'all see that? Do that again. Uh, hang on. I'll see if we can do that again. That was funny. <laughs> mighty, mighty Maria, stick to the ceiling! <laughs> That's kind of funny. I like that. Uh, hello, Octopi. How are you? Hello. How are you? There's a lot of you. Oh my gosh, there's so many. So many Dark Octopi. Oh, so many Dark Octopi. Go away, Dark Octopi. No! No! Okay. 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 Hello. Hello. The, now, this room is absolutely wonderful if you're playing as Alucard and you're trying to level up the uh, Muramasa. Is it Muramasa or Murasama? I think it's Muramasa. Um, it's whatever sword will get stronger when you coat it in more blood. Because these things bleed a lot. They bleed an awful lot. And so, uh, yeah. They're really good for that, and otherwise they just kind of are octopi, and they're kind of annoying. Yeah, anyway, so Harmony of Dissonance. One of the things they did to make the, the castle more interesting was 
they made it so that you could not go through the entirety of the basic castle um, at first. And, and the way they did that was by kind of creating uh, these gates that when you go through them, they would allow you to transport betw between the two versions of the castle. Oh, no. I shouldn't have come back here, I don't think. Oh, you. Yeah. Okay. Hup. Hup. I'm just going to try and bounce my way out of here. Um, and so, like, well, and one of the things that was kind of cool about it was that they didn't really tell you what was going on at first. Like, if you didn't really pick up on the fact that uh, the color change was indicative of something, you might just think, well, wait, this isn't what I, this is where I just was. Why does it look so different? Uh, or why is it behaving so differently? Like, doors will be closed in places they weren't supposed to be, and, like, things would be out of place. Basically, they did kind of what I was describing earlier, where I wanted them to change up the way the rooms connect. So have, like, the same general layout, but the rooms connect differently, and there's, like, there are locked doors in different places and stuff like that. All that stuff made it more interesting. Now, the way in which Harmony of Distance sort of failed is that they... Because they um, made made such a point of uh, so, oh I forgot they were in here <laughs> those things are really dangerous oh geez uh, I'm gonna have to go through there so let's see I'm gonna try I'll try Biako um, oh wait she's not out yet this may not damage her at all okay it did good those those ladies I think they're called uh. Blue Venus, I think they're either called Blue Venus Weed or Al Um, they're just they're dangerous. <laughs> Worry about them. They're not they're not cool. That if you if you let them get going, they are extremely deadly. Anyway, um, because of the way they kind of sectioned off the areas in Harmony of Dissonance, um, once you got wider access to more of the castle, it was very easy to forget where you're supposed to be going. Plus, um, there were a couple of events that happen in the game which just sort of require you to move forward through a room. Like, one of the, one of the ways you typically figure out where you have been in a game that has a, a uh, map screen like this one is to find places where there, there's a door in indicated that you haven't gone through. That's, that's an easy way to figure out where you haven't been, because it's a door, and you apparently didn't go through it. But in Harmony of uh, Harmony of Dissonance, there were a lot of situations where they had a uh, like a an element in the room that was not a door, but also prevented you from going through it. So, like, I know there's at least one place where all you're supposed to do is walk left through a room, and Maxim, who's like the uh, I guess you'd call him an antagonist or anti-hero. I'm not sure how you'd describe him. Um, just, he just kind of like shows up when you get in the other side of this room. And I got so, so lost. Wandering around everywhere I could in the castle. Just trying to figure out where I was supposed to go next. And it was just the other side of this room. God, it was fun. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode because I think I'm up against time. So in the next episode, we will continue through the underground caverns that are above the rest of the castle and the reverse castle and presumably in the sky. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but we'll do it. So I hope you'll come back and see me for that. I am the Moy Chicken. And this is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Thanks for stopping by.